Okay, great. You're on deck. Thank you. Hi, I'm Christopher Young. I ran for Congress in the last election. I received 34% of the vote, representing one third of the state of the state's population. I also ran for mayor of Providence as well. Obviously, we do not support bullying in Providence or statewide in our school system. But the issue here is that this is really a larger agenda where an agenda is being pushed uh, onto the citizens of the state. We're talking about 1% of the population that are transgender, less than that, affecting 99% of the rest of the state's population through your policies. And if your policies enact um, contradictory policies that jeopardize the health and the welfare of the other students in the classes, where if you present this information, like, ha like what happened in Rockland, California, where a child was brought into a classroom and then the teacher said, all these things about transgender, and then the child left the room, came back in, in a girl's dress, right? Th then one of the girls in that classroom went home, the mother gave that child a bath, and her hair was wet down, and she started to cry to her mother saying, am I a boy? Now this affects the psychology of the other students in the classroom and poses a lawsuit uh, potential against the state of Rhode Island, against the Department of Education, against the school system in Providence. If these children uh, engage in this activity where they're being taught by their schools that they can be transgender, then go on these chemical blockers that can castrate them chemically. They cannot produce children. Now studies according to the American uh, College of Pediatrics say that by the age of 18, these 95 percent of these children change their minds and go back to the gender that they were born with. So 95 percent go back to the gender that they were born with, but because they were on these chemical blockers in their childhood, they're chemically sterilized for the rest of their life. This is why the state does not have the right to interfere with the civil rights of the other students in the class who do not have this position. The state is imposing laws and policies that affect the civil rights of the other students who are my child, if I have a four-year-old child, I tell her that uh, you want to go to the beach today? She'll say, I want to go to the beach today. Anything that I say, she'll do. You tell her as a, uh, someone in authority that this is what we should do, that this is something that you can do, and they will do that, and then they will be chemically castrated and not produce children. And there's a larger agenda behind that, which is the Gates Foundation, which has a CO2 agenda to reduce the world's population. And this is, this is the reality of the situation. And, and unless you address the reality that two people of the same sex will not produce children, okay, and that the Gates Foundation is pushing this gender adjust, uh, adjust, uh, um, issue, they're pushing this issue to trick children into not reproducing in their, in their adulthood. It's about CO2, it's about the, the Gates Foundation, it's about population reduction. It is not the, 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 it is not the, it is not within your threshold to, to talk about this stuff to children. Thank you. Thank you.